Um, I'm Danny Heineman. I'm a senior wide receiver from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, I'm a communications major and I'm supposed to graduate in May. Um, and after I graduate, I'm thinking about um, pursuing coaching, maybe. Um, I might uh, try to become a graduate assistant somewhere, maybe here, um, and get a master's degree while I'm at it. So. What made you choose Wheaton, Danny? Is the atmosphere. Um, I visited a lot of schools, a ton of schools, um, you know, from Division One to Division Three, and uh, you know, every school, you know, pretty much gives the same pitch. You know, you know, we're going to train you to be a better football player. Uh, you're going to have fun while you're here. Um, you're going to get a degree. But at Wheaton, it was the message was, we're going to train you to be a football player. We're going to train you to be. Um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna get a good education, but we're gonna train you to be a better man and a better a better Christian when you leave. Um, and I mean, no one else, no one else said anything like that. Obviously, I don't I didn't visit any other Christian schools, but um, you know, there are Christian schools that don't run their football programs the way Wheaton's does. Um, and so that was really attractive for me. And that's that's really what made me choose Wheaton in the end. Talk a little bit about your season. You've uh, had a good senior year. Uh, uh, just talk a little bit about uh, how that's going for you and, and what, what you're looking forward to for the rest of the year. Um, I have I have had a pretty good season. Um, it helped having a full off season. Uh, you know, this spring and summer, uh, being able to work out and train. So I, you know, I felt more physically prepared than I ever have been coming into a season. Um, and uh, you know, Sean Norris, the quarterback, is. He's a great quarterback, and he'll hit you if you're open. So, um, you know, I'm not really that concerned with how many catches I have, how many touchdowns I have. Um, as long as we're scoring, then, you know, that's that's what I care about. Um, you know, we've been winning, too, so I'm excited to see how our offense matures because it is a new offense, and we're, we're still kind of, like, ironing out some of the some of the bumps and stuff that you have when, you know, you learn a whole new offense in, during training camp. Um, we had an opportunity this summer to run through some of the stuff, but not really in a way that would, uh, you know, give us that much of an edge um, going into training camps. So. What do you like about this offense? It's uh, it's very aggressive. That's I like it a lot. Um, I mean, one example at uh, the North Park game, I came off the field. Freddie Ellis, the other the other starting receiver, we both came off the field and said, you know, we got to go right at this corner, the specific guy. He goes, okay, and. Uh, so, you know, our next play on offense, he said, whoever that kid is lined up on, that guy's going deep and we're going to throw him the ball. And, uh, you know, we were on our own 13-yard line. I had an 87-yard touchdown. Um, so, um, I mean, he's just, he's, he trusts us especially. That's, that's one of the coolest things. He trusts us as receivers and quarterbacks. Um, that when we say we should do something, we'll do it. And, and he just goes with it. So it's, it's a lot of fun because we're a threat to score every time, every play. What do you enjoy most about playing football at Wheaton? It's got to be, I mean, playing football is fun, but playing football with the guys that we have here. Um, you know, football in high school is fun, but, um, you know, on Friday nights and Saturday nights, when it came down to it, I wasn't doing the same stuff that, you know, all my friends were doing. Um, and, uh, you know, I wasn't going to parties and stuff like that. And, and that's that's the coolest thing, that's the best thing about playing football at Wheaton where it's intentional about bringing in Christian football players. Um, that we all live the same way and we're going to be doing the same things. Uh, you know, we're all like-minded and, and stuff like that. So um, it gives us an opportunity to be a lot closer uh, as friends and as teammates. Um, and it makes it all the more fun to play football with them. So. How important is that, you know, uh, that to you, sort of the ability to be with like-minded guys, and then uh, uh, what kind of, I mean, what kind of uh, relationship do you think that helps you guys develop with each other? I think it's hugely important um, because it allows us to trust one another. Um, I mean, you know, we can trust each other's physical abilities on the field and stuff like that, but we trust each other off the field that, you know, we're not going to be doing stuff that would be detrimental to, to the team's success and to, you know, to your, set, to your success, like, personally and your development as a Christian. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's really important, and it, uh, it provides us to, 
um, it provides us with an opportunity to just you know sharpen each other. And I, I think that's the best thing about being like-minded with everybody else is you've got guys that you can count on to call you out when you're doing something that's not right or to encourage you when they can see that you're struggling with whatever. You've done some of the uh, football ministry trips. Uh-huh. Uh, just talk a little bit about that experience, where you've went, uh, what, what you enjoyed about that, what you did on those trips. Um, I went to Guinea the, uh, during my sophomore year, uh, which is a country in Western Africa, and it happens to be the second poorest country in the world to Haiti. Um, and so that, I mean, you know, going from America to Guinea, I mean, that was a it was a mind blowing experience to see like the depth of poverty that was going on over there. I mean, you'd have you know, this is the second biggest city that we were in, is uh, Khan Khan, and there were mud huts that, you know, made up whole blocks. You know, there's probably two blocks of, you know, cross streets where there are actual buildings in the downtown area, and then the rest of it was like shacks and huts and half-built houses everywhere. And, um, and we got an opportunity to, to speak at the local university, um, to talk to the students about, like, American politics and government and education. Um, in like a big lecture hall. Uh, so it was open to the public, but it was mostly students that came. Um, so I think we had like 200 maybe people come and, and they got to ask us questions and stuff. So it was, it was fun, it was really interactive. And we spoke through an interpreter. Um, and then we also had an opportunity to uh, speak to the local the, the Christian group on campus that had been started um, by the missionary that we were working with. Um, so we get to talk to them about what it was like going to school in America and going to a Christian school and, and all the things that are associated with that and then you know we got to talk about what it was like for them because it was a, it's a predominantly Muslim country um, and then we got to play basketball with the guys after all the lectures and stuff and that was really fun it was fun to figure out how to communicate um, in athletics to something that you can't just speak to um, so that was a lot of fun it was, it was a great experience